Hey Pirates, good morning. Friday, last Friday of the semester. Next Friday is a day off. Um, so today we are going to continue to look at the periodic table and our bell work um, and our research if you haven't finished it. Um, you can see our objective is the same. Our agenda. I'm going to ask you to do two more slides, only today you'll pick two more elements that aren't elements that you researched and do the same thing we did yesterday. And so if you missed that or you don't remember how, yesterday's video that's right here in the announcement has a discussion of how to do that. You're welcome to look back at that. Um, again, if you didn't get your research done, get that turned in. Number three is really get caught up. Since Sunday is the last day for any work, you should do this first. Um, I will accept your study guide next week. I will not accept this stuff next week. And so spend your class time, your weekend, working on getting caught up, retaking tests. If you're failing and you still want to pass, here's the link to the document explaining the pathway for that. And then the new piece for today, if you are all caught up with everything, wanting to kind of get a head start on preparing for your final, there's a study guide, Properties of Matter study guide for the final. And this is a Google Cloud assignment. So the directions are here. Open the cloud version, which is down here. And take it like a test. As I was saying, you should take the study guide and treat it like a test, I think. And then use um, your notes and stuff to go ahead and fill it in and check what you did. Finally, um, if you're interested, there is a discussion of it linked here in the resources that you could use to finally double check your work. And then submit it. Um, it's not worth a lot of points, but again, if you have it done as a resource on the test, which will be open note, it will um, make it much more likely that you do really, really well on that test. <clears throat> finally, I want to make sure you understand that if you would rather work on paper, then the actual Google Doc. Use the Google Doc just to make a little paper copy of the study guide. Write your um, information, your notes, your responses on paper, and then just insert the pictures on the Google Doc, and I'll be happy to give you full credit for that as well. Make it work for you. Again, the goal isn't really to complete the study guide for points. The goal is to complete the study guide so that you ace the test. Um, hope to hear from you. If you have questions, as always, you can check in my Zoom. Um, or shoot me emails. Good luck.